Hello, I'm Full Paragon, and this is your guide to the Lightning Golem Arena for May 2022. This giant robot is pretty straightforward. He just has really ridiculously hard-hitting attacks. His punches are all physical attacks, although his alt is magic-based. Both of these can absolutely demolish your team if you're not prepared, but this is a very straightforward arena with no odd mechanics. Tank the hits, heal up, and then keep DPSing. Theoretically, this boss is weak to magic, but Earth Mages aren't really a thing, new Aru notwithstanding, so you're probably going to end up using physical anyway. The Don Machi units can also be quite good here when they come out later on this week, specifically Bell and Eyes, although I could even see Bestia Aqua being a battery for teams as well. Alright, for the physical team, I'm going to focus on what it would look like before the Don Machi collab, as most of the arena will take place before then. This is also the first arena where Cosma is going to be meta. This is, of course, with the caveat that you really need to have Snipe for Balsama to be at peak performance here. But he does have a tier 2 physical attack up, a tier 2 physical defense down on the boss, and of course, Snipe provides a tier 3 agility debuff, which can make surviving the boss's hits much easier. Earthlia also has the potential to be extremely good here, with the caveat that they need to have fixed the damage cut bug. Without that, she's not going to be nearly as useful because a lot of her utility here is helping your team survive those big hits from the boss as well as providing a tier 2 agility up. A core member of any team this arena will be Mitsubishi. It's kind of a toss up between his bunny boy form and the welfare ball Mitsu. The welfare has a self attack up while his casino form does deal a lot more damage, and if you have Balsama providing those buffs, the welfare doesn't look as attractive. Both are pretty vanilla, but they'll also both get the job done. Choose the one that you have with the most skills. Iris is pretty much going to be mandatory here. Ball Iris is far and away the best with her tier 2 self agility up, but if you just have Pizza Iris, it'll work out fine. The best person for the rear is, of course, Earth Aqua. She has an alt gauge up, a heal, an agility buff, everything that you would want in the rear. I'd use her first version on the alt because the plan is for her not to come in into the last minute so she won't connect with enough ultimates for it to really be worth using her second form. Once Danmachi comes, we'll have some more options. Eyes could be good with her team attack buff, Bell could be great with his cooldown cut, and even Bestia Aqua has a tier 3 attack buff as well as ult gauge charge. All three of them could work out, although I don't think they'll displace anyone on element, with the exception of Leah with damage cut still being bugged. She just doesn't do enough otherwise. Earth Mages did get a new toy in Ninja Aru, and she does deal a lot of damage, like most Arus do. But of course, your core is going to continue to be the same. Christmas Wiz and ReZero Megami. The next option is, of course, Slappy Rin. She provides that much needed tier 3 magic attack buff. And you can also use New Year Aqua in the rear. She's just really good at coming in, giving your team that little bit of extra juice right at the end of Arena. And of course, Ninja Ren would be in the fourth slot. Overall, this is not nearly as poor a team as Earth was forced to field last Arena but I still think Earth Physical is going to win out here. They have a lot more toys and a lot more units, and a lot of your DPS from this team is going to come from 3-star Rin, who doesn't have many tricks in her sleeve, and Ninja Aru is in the same boat, where she just doesn't have a lot going for her overall. I will note in the graphic here, I gave Wiz her Super 2, as it's definitely her best option for this arena. However, it's not all that advisable to go out and unlock that right now. I'd hold off on it. There's much better ways to spend your B-stones right at this particular point in time. I also hate to say it, but there aren't any real substitutions you can make outside of going down to some 1 and 2 star units. So overall, this team doesn't have any backup plans, and it's fairly weak even if you do happen to have everyone. As for the Welfare team, I actually think your best option is going to be Bell. Yeah, it's going to be pretty rare for you to get off his super as it takes quite a bit of charge, but frankly, he's going to be a mainstay for free-to-play teams and even teams for people who are light spenders as he's got an excellent kit and you can fully max skill him. 
before he comes out, I guess your best bet is going to be New Year Cosma. Although again, he really only works if you have Snipe. If you're struggling to stay alive with this team, I would suggest putting in Earth Celo in the last slot instead of Rin. Although if you can have New Year Aqua instead, that is even better. If damage cut is still bugged, Leah will be rather bad and I would look to replace her. If at all possible, try and get in some replacements here. Even someone like Eyes would be much better here than going with Slappy Rin in the last slot or Leah if her damage cut is still bugged. Overall, Earth isn't as in dire a place as Dark is for welfare options, but it's still not in a great place. That's the video. Thanks for watching. There will be two streams this week, one on Tuesday, two hours after reset as usual, and the other one will be for Don Machi pulls and maybe a little arena testing. That one will be on the 26th, and I'm planning on doing it two hours after resets, but I am at the whim of maintenance, so we shall see how that goes. Regardless, good luck to everyone on your polls, and have fun beating up the robot in Konosuba Fantastic Days.